Yo, what's up, guys? I'm back. Got a view for you now. If you wonder why I sound a little bit ill or a little bit less than usual, it's because I am. I've got COVID this week, so I'm trying to do my hardest to do some reviews for you guys. So, first, we've got this Brolin card. Odd stats says so he's 5 foot 9, got high, high work rates. He's got the right foot with the 4 star skills, 3 star weak foot. On alternate positions, this is one of his better things for this card. He can play cam, centre forward, right wing, and also striker. I decided to go with the Hunt Kent because it just boosts up that finishing and also that pace quite nicely. On stats, then, so he's got 87 pace, 88 shooting, 83 passing, 90 dribbling, and 69 physical. So on paper, looks like quite a nice well rounded card. I decided to play him up front. I think it was alongside best. As you see, he's got no actual traits or player traits, should I say. But I decided to play him up front alongside best. If you do enjoy the clips or want to see more, please do subscribe. It generally does help the channel out a lot. And let's see after the positive negatives. Peace. So on to my other thoughts about the card then. Now starting this off, I didn't have too good of a relationship with this card. I felt like a best was quite a bit better than him. I know it's a little bit of an obvious thing to say, but this year heroes are if not better than icons. Because obviously they do the same for the nation with the one link extra, but they also do two um, on the uh, league. So you have a, a, a one Serie A player and then one hero and it'll give you a one chemistry point which is actually really, really nice. So honestly heroes are kind of better than icons this year, but no one really realises it. Anyway, so we'll go through the card. So the four star skills, really nice for the card. Obviously on the five star, but that is the minimum necessity. The three star weak for was very consistent at times, I will say that. He would miss quite a few chances on it, and as you see in some of the clips, it was a little bit frustrating. Now the pace for me was quite average. This is the highest pace you can boost it to because obviously it's a Hunter Chem style. But overall it didn't really feel amazing. It wasn't slow, don't get me wrong, but it wasn't fast. 
Now, shoot for me on his right foot, really, really good. Now, I'm actually using the upgraded bond as we speak, uh, and that finishing feels a lot better than this one. I don't know about th this one's finishing just felt a little bit off at times. I didn't really feel confident for the goal with it. And I, I feel like it's because of that composure stat. She sees only 84 base, which is kind of a little bit low, to be honest. But there we go. The finishing, not too bad, but not amazing. The shot part is actually really, really nice, to be fair. The long shots, I did I think I popped a few. I know we went to Travella ones. Um, obviously, hold L2 to Travella. He doesn't have the outside of the four-shot trait, but still really, really nice. Now, the passing for me, the ones that matter are the actual good ones, so that's quite nice. The vision's quite good. The short pass is good. Just allows you to do these one-twos. And especially playing my, playing my formation, sorry, the 4-3-2-1. It's a lot of passing into play, especially if that direct passing. It needs a lot of, like, one-two passing, and he has got that, so he can do that, to be fair. Now, this is where I feel like you could also alternate with Kemi's styles if you wanted to. So... He's not really got the best of shooting attributes, so you need to boost that necessarily. But you also kind of need to boost his uh, agility stats, because the agility is a little bit low. He's, he can get away with this, he's quite small. But the agility, I just feel like it could be a little bit higher. So I maybe put the engine chem cell on just to boost the passing pace and dribbling up a little bit. So you can kind of like have some discrepancy in your chem style, which you want your news. I don't really feel like either would make too much of a difference on the other one. But generally speaking, I would probably go with an engine chem style personally. Uh, now the dribbling stats actually not bad. The ball control was very good. I found them out this card. The composure, as I said, was a little bit low. It was a little bit strained at times. Uh, now the air ability, the air ability is actually not too bad on this card. Obviously he is five foot nine, so you are gonna have to stay away from that at times because obviously the big centre backs are still gonna jump no matter what. But with that being said, he still can jump and still can head the ball, so that's quite a nice attribute. So, stamina is a little bit low, so you want minimum 80, I know it's very nitpicky, but I would want minimum 80, 85 odd. I know obviously it's quite cheap for a hero card, but overall, you do kind of want a little bit more than that. And now, the strength and aggression work quite low, to be honest. He's got the balance to kind of counteract it, but he is small, so he does need a little bit of strength on him. Just to push those defenders, they're trying to push into the side of him, but he doesn't really have that attribute to him, so as a little bit of an annoying stat again. So, what's my overall scores about the card then? Now, first for me is the pace. Now, over for the pace, I'm going to give it 8 out of 10. It's solid, don't get me wrong. It's not amazingly fast and it's not slow. The acceleration is actually quite nice because obviously the better acceleration is better than better sprint speed, if that makes any sense. Uh, you'll want a higher acceleration on an attacker because then you just burst your own goal rather than have a higher sprint speed because the defenders have the higher sprint speed naturally. Now, the next one for me is the shooting. The overall for this, I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10 as well. It's not amazing, don't get me wrong, but it's not bad. He will finish quite a few chances, to be fair, but the left foot and also composure, I can't give it any higher than that. Now, the passing for me, as a striker, I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10. It's not bad, don't get me wrong. The ones that matter are actually not too bad, to be fair. The curve, the long pass, no, sorry, the short pass, and also the vision. But the rest of the attributes are kind of average. Now, the dribbling attributes for me, he's still some really nice attributes in here, like the ball control, the actual dribbling stat, the reactions. But there's a little bit low ones, like the agility and the composure. So, overall, for this, I'm going to give it a solid 7 out of 10. I just don't think you're really high in that, especially since he doesn't have the 5 star skills or anything like that to like boost it up a little bit. Now, the physicals for me, so the one that matters most is the stamina and is a little bit low in this respect. And also the fact he's got like, a not bad head and but not good, um, especially as he's 5 foot 9. So overall for this, I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10. I don't think he's going to be high in that, purely because I want that stamina to be a little bit higher or maybe the strength. So, an overall score from then. So he's coming in around 160k. It's not bad to be fair, he's got a lot of positions on him and he's Serie A, but the Swedish link doesn't really matter. So if you're looking for links, it's only going to be Serie A recently. Um, so do I think it's worth it? 160k, I'm just saying no. I feel like there's going to be better cards out there. I feel like Vinicius Jr. is probably a better card out there. I know obviously he's got not got the best of finishing Vinny, but overall I just feel like he's got more to his game than this card. But if you do need a hero, he's not a bad alternative. I'll probably suggest one like Robbie Keane or something like that. So overall, for, overall Scott, I'm going to give it a 7.5 out of 10. I didn't really get to grips with the card too much, to be fair. It wasn't bad, but it wasn't amazing. For value of coins, to be fair, I'm going to give it a 8 out of 10. I still think it's a good card, don't get me wrong, for the price. I just feel like you can get better. But that's all for my viewers. Always, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please do subscribe. It generally does help the channel a lot. But I've got a more to say. See you in the next video, and peace out, guys.